All right, guys, welcome back to the channel again. All right, so today we are going to do my oil change on my truck. Also, my wife's car. Don't think I can see. Always use Mopar oil filters. So, it's the one thing I want to show you guys. <clears throat> now, though, my oil I use, which is a big ass thing. But if you look under here, which I can actually set up underneath this, but here is my Fumoto oil drain valve. So, to drain the oil, it's pretty easy. Sorry, let me run by. Uh, all I have to do right here for the oil is this. Get these little things right here real quick. But, get this little vent cap open. Like this this so as you can really see got this little retaining ring right here Fumoto and then push it up and down bam right there and that is how you do the oil change on this thing <clears throat> so that's yeah, my five inch exhaust still good up there yep so, this is why I have long arms in my truck. <clears throat> Let that drain out for a couple minutes. Well, like a little bit. So, we're also going to have to get my oil filter off after we're done with draining it. Um, yeah, and I got to get new headlights. I just found this out right here. It rained. Kind of sucks, but I'm gonna have to order new headlights anyways. This ones are all messed up. I got new tail lights. One of them fell out not so long ago, so might as well get new headlights as well. They look better before I leave. All right, I'll come back when that is drained. All right, so yes, yeah, so what we're doing right now is we're just gonna wait for that to finish draining, shut the valve, and then we'll take off the oil filter. You guys know how to do that already, but I'll make a video for you guys though. My daughter's underneath here, trying to help me out. <laughs> so, uh, this thing's almost done. It's pretty well done now. So, walk that back up and put this the retaining clip back on. Oh, now, now, the right way. Okay, just like that. See? Just like that on there. Stuff on there. Okay, so. <sighs> Move this oil pan up, or oil catch pan up, and so we can get that. Hopefully, this thing is not a pain in the butt like it was last time. Last time, when I tried this oil change, it took me like an hour because I had a freaking GMS screwdriver through the dang thing. Okay, let's get to the front. Okay, so, okay. so, oh yeah, hit my head on there. Oh, well, actually, when I'm down here, see this right here. This is my Team Brock stabilizer bracket my dual steam stabilizer kit from rough country i love that thing i need to get a new belt more money all right okay so let's see if we can get this all right so the damn thing is still on there pretty well so I'm gonna try to put this right here. See if I can't get this. I'm gonna get this thing off of here. Undo it. And then I will try to get my oil filter off again through here because it's a little easier to reach. So Finally got my filter off. Well, it's not off yet, but I have it for So, if so we can't do this, obviously it's gonna be a little messy, but whatever. It's part of it. Oh, shoot. Let me get back to you. That was a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, now that we got that done, it's right here. Drain that oil out. Put the oil in there. 
you gotta watch out with these ones because there is a lot of oil in it. And a lot of oil is black, as usual with a diesel truck. Wash up my hands. Okay. All right. So now that's out of the way, we'll get the new stuff ready. Way, but it'll do. All right, so I wave off my cap. I need to get a new gasket for this, but I don't have one yet. So let's try to get this good to go. So we're gonna do come with oil filter. We're okay. Mopar, well, Mar Mopar, come in, whatever. Crack open, crack open one of these bottles of oil. Okay. Or I always line with, I don't know, some people don't like it. I like to do this. Some people even put oil inside of it. I don't pre fill them. I don't know. It doesn't say I'm here to do that. A lot of people, there's an argument, I guess, of people who do and don't do it. And I don't do that. Just because of the pain. It's a, it's a pain to get that up there once once you have it done. <clears throat> yeah, once you have it done, or once you have this filled up, it's a pain in your butt to freaking get that back underneath there. So, uh, so let's go back over here. <clears throat> oh, let me put this cap on my oil. Okay, so now that's all undone. What I'm gonna do, I'll put this oil filter right here. Right there, like that. Wipe all this off. It's kind of not that much. No, it's not that really dirty. So we'll go underneath here. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> all right. There we go. Hundred times better. Now, wipe off my suspension. It actually didn't really get that many places though. Maybe you need it. Besides a little mark, I can that. But other than that made it pretty well much onto the uh, sorry my daughter she's crazy I can't more drink make me more sugar I thought you were gonna help me baby are you gonna help me no figures okay <laughs> all right well at least you want to help me kind of you did earlier at least so Let's put this. Can you hand me the oil filter? Thank you, baby. Awesome. See, she, yes, you are. So, all right, let's get that underneath here. You know what? Screw that. We're going to go from the bottom. It is a hundred times easier to go from this bottom part. Yes, she did. And hand me that blue rag over there on the tire. You can get the pump. Okay, so he rolled away from me. So let's get that again. Okay. So try number two. It is way easier. If you look at that. Way easier to get up here. All right, got it on there now. Boom. Perfect. Right, now all that stuff is done, I'm gonna go open up this valve again on here, just to make sure that I do not have any more oil just sitting in here. See, and watch this. Let's see if I want to do a plug. Scoot this over. Like this, push it in, and, oh, oh sorry, my bad, uh, again. See, just add a little oil in there. I had to wait for all of it to come down. And once the pressure got relieved on there, it was a good deal. So, got one other thing to show you guys. This is cool too. So, Hot Shot Secret, being the awesome company that they are. They gave me this other stuff as well. So, 
So they gave me two other things. This right here is my oil additive. So I'm gonna run this one. I think that I can, I'll have to double check on here, but I'm pretty sure that I can mix the two, but I think I'm just gonna leave that one. This one has both, so I may actually just run this one. Uh, so this one is, let's see. Yeah. It, it is a yeah, 16 eliminator, four ounces per one quart, so it's 12 quarts. If I can do math, that's 48 ounces, which this is 40 ounces, but that's okay. I can just run that. So I'll put that in there first. And I can do like eight ounces of this. Um, let me double check on here. So this stuff is supposed to be awesome. So hope, I mean, I'm sure that it is. Uh, Tasha Secret is awesome. I've used this forever. When I was up in Alaska, I was there for three years. I had a 6 power stroke. That's what I used uh, in my power stroke was, um, well, not this free stuff, the FRE, but I used a 6 chanel major. Uh, that was 15 quarts of oil though. Um, so it's hot out here in Georgia. So see, that's fully almost done. It is almost done draining. So next, we're gonna do my wife's oil change. I got her some of this since she's gonna be going uh, on a road trip here in a little while. So I was at Walmart, and actually, I got this. I don't have def, but I use this oil. Or sorry, this. Um, the funnel, there you go, fluid funnel. Uh, I use this funnel because since my truck is taller, it's a little easier with that. I know good mechanics don't have to use one, whatever, I don't really care. This makes it easier, makes it not have to clean up a lot of mess. I uh, still have to clean up mess, but. All right, so I also wanted this as well. So if I make it to 100 subscribers, I will be giving away one of each one of these. So you guys will get, boom, and boom just like that there's different ones but they're these will be stickers i will mail them to you obviously you have charged all you have to do is subscribe that's all you got to do and actually i would say right now if you like this video so far i know it's just kind of boring it's an oil oil change whatever um but if you like this video go ahead and click that subscribe button and that thumbs up button that will be so awesome i will greatly really appreciate it um but so next what we're going to do and then i will go over it at the end as well but next what we're going to do we're going to put this beast back on while that thing is draining since i don't need it i don't need it down anymore and these wires up here all right so let me put that back on and i'll get back to you i need two hands all right so all right, i got that up there finally i had to tighten down my antenna which is still not tightened but whatever i'll just deal with that later so what i'm going to do is get it down a hook i broke my other phone the other day on accident nice. roughing it so so sorry that was a long time <laughs> just doing all the change but we will shut this little spout and i gotta find the clip again right here that's why i love this you guys need to get a little food motor oil drain valve this thing is a lifesaver Especially with uh, having to, there we go. Okay, all right. Especially with uh, you know having a, a truck has so many quarts of oil instead of having to drain it. Like if I had empty cans, usually I keep them, but I don't have any. But if I had empty cans, I'd be draining it directly into those into the empty uh, oil cans. But I don't have any extra oil cans, so I just drain it into this giant thing <laughs> so all right now let's start with this right here so i'm gonna start with this right here this in here this car's going by <laughs> ok 
Okay, so now that's all of that. And this right here. And put the stitching and laminator in here as well. I may not put all of it as I still want to be able to do my oil change in the full 12 quarts. Right there for now. And then this one's kind of weird, but it'll work. So I'm just pouring it right now. I'll let you guys take a look. So I'm just pouring it in here. You guys know how to pour oil. So that is, I'm probably only going to do not all of this. Uh, yeah, this thing treats 32 quarts of oil. Well, uh, some stupid, I don't know, I did that before, but whatever. So I'm going to put that in there. So that's about as much as I'm putting in there right now. This is 12 quarts. I put a little, I put less than half in it. Right, let's start with this oil now. So I run this Delo 400 XSP. It's a, uh, it's full synthetic. I, I love this stuff. This stuff is, I, I ran this up in Alaska as well. This oil. Uh, my last change, I did um, the regular. Uh, I did like the. Um, Cummins recommended the Valvoline. It was good. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know oil was in it before when I bought it, as I've only had this truck for you know a couple months now. Too close to my face. All right. So, uh, dang it. Yeah. So, I ran Delo 400 S XSP up there. It's a CK4, you know, for all diesel engines and everything like that. But I love this stuff. This Chevron Delo. Um, I know. Up in my uh, in my 60 power stroke I had that was the last one I had I didn't have a YouTube then obviously but that's what I had before it was black and white and it was it was legit I love that truck I had, a, I had a lot of stuff done to it but won't go into that since this is not my 60 channel so um anyways it takes a little bit to fill up all right I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done with filling all this up. So guys, <clears throat> all right, so this is only my second gallon of this, obviously, but this is why I love the uh, deaf fluid funnel right there. That way it tilts back right there on there. You don't have to worry about holding it. As I mean, obviously, this is empty now, but it makes it easier for it to drain the last little bit of it. So uh, let me get back to you again. I just want to show you that because it is awesome how it does that. So, all right. All right, guys, so that is finally done. Heck yes. Okay. A little bit of oil on here, whatever. Yeah. Look around, make it look all shiny. Anyways, all right, so let's do the first startup with this oil in here. I've not ran this Hot Shots um, oil additive in here yet, uh, but let's do this. Um, let me, I'll take you guys with me. Screw it. All right, let's do this. So, let's hop in here. Get out of the way. Okay, you guys ready? Let's get it. Wait for this red light to turn off. That's what I always do. Oops. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Obviously, it's a Cummins. So let's go back here. So 
let's go for a ride real quick. Turn off the AC. I will roll on the windows. That way you can hear for anything. Hopefully, I don't think anything's going to be wrong. But we will see. Everything's tightened down. Everything's filled back up. If I get my C buckle on, you know, it's dummy proof, I guess. Okay, so let's see how this does. Oh, yeah, that sounds good already. I mean, kind of. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. No leaky leakies. video guys I know sorry but that's just the kind of con content that I put on here sometimes you know I I'm just trying to get a little more uh, a little more content on here since you know I haven't really made a ton of it I think I have like eight videos on there or something but let's go yeah let's go out of this let's go out of the neighborhood see what this, see what this does I may have to the windows uh, this is my speakers on my 11 Pro Max. I just got this the other day. Didn't really want to upgrade, but my other phone cracked, and since I'm going overseas, I don't really want to have a cracked phone and have it get worse over there since I can't replace it. Uh, so let me uh, let me know if it's bad sound quality. It should be pretty good though. But like I said, guys, so this is you know it's kind of a long video. Some of it's kind of boring. Uh, but, you know, this is my oil change video, just pretty much, uh, oh yeah, that's a lot better, but it's also brand new oil too, so it could definitely be that as well. Um, we will see how this does. I'm going to go out here and flip the, flip the UE real quick. I'm going to actually drive by this lake and then go through the other side of it, that way I can kind of get a little bit, a little bit out of it. Left. Tune up a little bit. I do mine at 5,000 miles. I'm used to it with my with my power stroke I had, and so to me, just spend like like the you know 80 bucks that it takes me to fill to uh, do my oil change, um, it, it's worth it to do it every 5,000 miles instead of 
you know, 7,000 and something goes wrong. And I'm like, well, I should have just done it for uh, 5,000 miles. All right. Then we get going. All right, yeah. So that's, that's pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much it today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys like this video. Uh, also, click that thumbs up like I was saying earlier. It helps me know that my content is good, obviously. Uh, you know, if I get subscribers, like I said, I, once I reach, uh, yeah, actually went, I'll do it if I reach 15 subscribers. If I reach 15 subscribers, I know there's more than you that, more of you than that on my, on my Instagram. Uh, but once I hit 15 subscribers, I will be giving away uh, the decal or two decals, the Hot Shot Secret, and I will also be giving away. Um, a thing of the uh, station eliminator as well. All right, I'll throw that in there as well uh, Just because you know, it'll be, it'll be out of my pocket. Uh, well, it's nothing that they sent me um, But yeah, like you know, if, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel um, I'm trying to get it going and uh, when I get back from, uh, from overseas, you know, I'll be uh, It'll be a little easier for me to uh, make videos obviously because I'm over there. I won't have my truck um, but you know, while I'm here, I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can, but before next week, uh, if I can knock out another, you know, four or five videos, uh, I would be, that, that'd be awesome. You know, um, I turned down my tune a little bit. So if you guys did like this video though, go ahead and like, uh, smash the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, look forward to my videos, you know, press, press the bell on there. So that way I know, or so that way, you know, when I make new content, also, follow my Instagram. The link will be down in the description. Uh, the link will also be down in the description for, um, or not link, but the, there will also be a uh, tag down there for Hot Shot Secret. Go and follow them on, on uh, Instagram and uh, you know, buy their products. They are amazing. They're great. Great products. Um, obviously, you know I, I have used other products before, but Hot Shot Secret, though, I've never had an issue with them, especially even up in Alaska when it was like negative 70 up there. I never had an issue with them in that temperature. Um, I, I, I haven't really had any issues with my diesels, luckily, up there, except for um, I had a little bit of an injector issue up there with my, with my power stroke, and the hot shot seeker cleared it up. So, um, you know, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments, so how you like my videos, and I will talk to you later. Um, if you have any questions about anything, uh, put them down in the comments, or you can DM me, DM me on Instagram, and I will try to help you to the best I can. Uh, so, all right, I'll see you guys next time, all right?